Oh man, this is exciting. I uh, I have this cup of coffee. I uh, spent some time this morning on the phone with uh, William Penn State Forest. Harris. Harris with the William Penn State Forest. And I uh, got some stuff figured out. And uh, I got to get a move on. I'm working in Palmyra tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to go do some primitive camping tonight. And then I'm going to get a uh, subscription to a membership, I guess, at a gym. So I can shower in the morning before I go work out in that direction. So uh, I'm going to put my my uh, mobile lodging to use and I'm going to get a head start on my day tomorrow morning. I'm going to pack up my, my new blazer and uh, I'm going to head up the road. Ha <laughs> ha! Do you I'm here. I hiked up. I've never been here before. I'm going pretty far up. The, the camping spot here is uh, like up on top in a little cove thing. Hopefully it cuts down on the wind because uh, we got a little bit of wind up on top. There's still frost on trees and stuff. So uh, I think this is a good night to go camping. Uh, I, I have all my stuff loaded up for work tomorrow as well as camping tonight. So I'm gonna struggle to get my backpack out of the car here and then I'm gonna head on up the hill. Now, this thing weighs so much. I have a zero degree bag in here. I have my hot tent TP. I have my ground tarp. I have um, an RF or an R, R value five sleeping mat. I got my wood stove attached to the bottom of it. So I'm gonna load this thing up on me here and then we'll go. TP, my sleeping stuff, my heat source for the night, because we're going to be getting down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get on with it. Big hill. Big hill. Finally made it up here to the campsite. There's definitely a breeze coming through here, which is going to be interesting tonight. I'll probably try and take some of the foliage and put it around the bottom of my tent on the side of the prevailing wind help cut down on it coming into the tent because uh, the bottom of the the TP doesn't have a floor on, uh, on the bottom of the picnic table there we have a icicle just so you guys know that like I'm not bluffing it's not actually like summertime or anything out here it's actually chilly it's nice. It's sunny though. I got a nice sunny day for it. So I'm going to get set up. Have a peek. I'm trying to think what's the best spot for the TP's going to be. And it's probably going to be down here between all the 
these trees. There's a tent set up. I love that tent. The big critical thing when I set up the tent is that the chimney flue is uphill. That allows me to tilt the stove uphill and it allows me to get a little bit better draft, which is needed tonight. I'm going to see if I can get you a shot in the tent setting this thing up. pipe out of it. And the legs come out. like uh, now I have a wood stove set up gotta get my flu protector set up getting chilly. I need to get a fire going. 
we're out of the heat of the day and it's gonna freeze me before I'm set up. I gotta go. All right, I'm, uh, I'm all set up now and I got my coffee kit brought up and I got my food for the night brought up. So uh, I'm gonna work on getting a fire going here and then I'll gather some fuel to get me going through the night. And then, uh, I don't know, then I do stuff. I uh, pre-cut some kiln-dried pallet boards that I had from the house. This is going to serve as a starter so that I can get some uh, other stuff drying out. I'm just splitting it into smaller pieces right now so that it catches a little easier. There's not really a whole lot of room here in the tent to set you up for watching me. My uh, my matchbox broke, so now all my matches are spilling all over the place. Luckily, I can prevent forest fire and pick them up. I like these. I like those. It's a uh, go fire. You just light it right in this, and uh, this thing burns pretty nice. I think it's like a, a paraffin wax type fire starter. So with one of these things, they work pretty well. So I'm going to put two sticks just down flat. And then I'll put that in there. I'm going to put a couple diagonals just to help hold stuff up. It's important to keep air passageways in between your little fire that you're trying to get going. So I have two boards lying this way and then I have some lying this way. and That will create an air gap in there that the fire can uh, grow in. So I'm going to light my thing my fire starter and then we'll see if we can get something going we'll see It has a draft, kinda. You never really get a whole lot of draft out of this thing. Let's get you a little view inside there. There. Now with the door closed, you know, I can open up the right front gate there, keep letting some air through. 
So now that a fire's going, oh yeah, big hot, good deal. I like that. That'll that'll keep me warm tonight. I like it. There's my flu protector in action. That's just a piece of fiberglass cut to uh, the outside dimension is a little bit bigger than the tent flue. And the inside dimension is just a little bit bigger than the pipe uh, for the chimney. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. It could have been like maybe a quarter inch smaller for the inside diameter hole. But uh, it... It does what I need it to do. I'm happy with it. It keeps my tent from burning down with me in it, and I couldn't ask more from it. That's beautiful. Okay. If, uh, if anyone that knows me is watching, you know that my coffee is important. So, I'm currently camping like a half mile away from my car. Um,. I brought my pack up. Let me move this so I like it a little more. There. there you can see me. Yeah, so I um I brought my backpack up. It's like a half mile up the side of the mountain here. Um and I got set up and then uh what I decided to do on this trip was uh I only have one backpack. So I have it packed with my tent and my wood stove and my sleeping kit and everything, uh, everything I need to set up a house. Uh, so I brought that up and then once I emptied the pack and had the house set up, I took another trip down the mountain and grabbed my sandwiches and my coffee kit and my water. So everything I'll need for tonight, I went and grabbed on the second trip. Uh, but now, sun's starting to go down, and uh, it's getting to be coffee time, so I have a little fire in here going. Uh, it's it's comfortable at shoulder height. Oh, watch out. It's definitely comfortable in here. So now I'm going to get into some coffee. I'm going to be using my uh, torch stove to make uh, quicker work of this. I have a small titanium stove that folds out and then it can hold a pitcher of water. Leave only your footprints. That'll go with me when I pack up in the morning. Now you gotta make sure everything is uh, plumb while you're doing this or you'll have some wampus stuff going on. So I normally use the water level and the top of the water pitcher to determine how plumb it is. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Let's make a cup of coffee. There's a train up here somewhere honking its damn horn. I wish it would shut the hell up. Matches.
Got to go ahead in the wood stove. Now my water is heating. So now I can get to grinding some bean. That smells pretty good though. I'll drink it. I love camping. I love this shit. We were up to like 36 degrees today and it's getting down to 27 tonight. So I'm figuring sun's going down. I'm probably down around freezing right now. It's nice in here. Got my five minute glass steep timer. Tucking my trash away so I don't forget it. Ooh, cold wind just came through. Very nice. Taking a long one. Oh, there it is. Now, I steep it. Now 
hey, uh, John, we are here, and this is the life I live. Uh, I'm kind of retarded, and I didn't grab enough wood to make it all night. My phone died when I was doing my coffee earlier, so you didn't get to see me taste the coffee. It was some pretty good coffee, though. Um, so now I'm out here trying to uh, find some firewood in the dark because that's uh, that's how I worked that out. It didn't work out so well. All right. I got myself a, a stack of wood over there now. See, I gotta... Alright, so I have a stack of wood in here now. Alright. We're coming up on like 10.30 right now or something like that. We're down to 26 degrees. Um, it's still nice and toasty in the tent here. Um, it's not too bad. I had to go down to the car though to get my phone back because it had died earlier when I was doing the coffee before. Uh, it is cold. It's cold out there. And uh, I didn't have enough wood, but now I got enough wood, I think, to get me through the night. Um, so I can't leave a bed of embers while I'm camping here so tomorrow after I am all packed up well I guess I guess it's not really going to work like that so I guess the first thing I need to do when I wake up in the morning is get the living area here packed up uh, and I have a trowel that I keep in my backpack so that I can um, dig up a little hole here. I'm just going to do it in the middle of the tent. And then I can dump all of the ashes from the stove into the hole and cover it back up so that I don't start a forest fire. Right now, I am getting my morning cup of coffee ready. I, um, I run... Uh, a Stanley thermos and uh, it normally keeps the coffee good and warm I, it's normally too hot to drink for like two or three hours and it normally keeps it good and warm for like five or six hours so I'm kind of hoping that I can brew this coffee and press it tonight get the stove going decent try and get the temperature up in here a little bit and then try and get some sleep for a couple hours here um i don't know how well i'm gonna be able to sleep tonight i didn't exactly bring all my stuff with me so i might sleep tonight i might not we'll see well, that's sitting pretty level so i'm gonna get that popping i forgot i have a lighter i keep using matches this whole time i'm here I brought a lighter. Ah, except it's all light. That's funny. That lint. All right. That's going. Now I need some beans. Ooh, I like the sound of that bean. Ooh, and I like the smell of that bean.
And uh, now I'm here waiting for the water to boil again. That's the struggle. I, uh, I really didn't think I was going to hear anything die tonight. But uh, something, something definitely came to an end tonight. It was screaming pretty good for uh, like 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. It was a small animal. I don't know what it would have been. And like it's end of January, 26 degrees. Like there's nothing outside. I don't know. I don't know what got got. Something got got. Maybe a rabbit. The rabbits, I think rabbits are still out. I'm about to walk a hole in my Dollar Generals, too. That's going to upset me. I do believe the water is close to boiling. It's starting to boil. I need this water to boil so I can get it out from in front of the stove so I can load the wood stove again. You gotta load this thing like every 15, 20 minutes if you don't want to freeze your ass off. I'm getting steam and I wait for the first spit. And there was the first spit. I do it a grab. And then I do it a four. Five-minute steep timer on that bad boy. Let's see what happens when I open up the stove. You ready to see a puff of smoke? Man, it's going to get smoky in here real quick. Smoky in here. So I'm gonna open up the back door. That's some fresh air in. Burning my eyes. Son of a eyes don't like smoke. Now, to get it warm in here, you gotta let some 26 degree air in to fucking clear out the smoke so you don't die of smoke inhalation. Then you can fucking close that piece of shit back up. And now we start the heat from scratch again. I hope you guys enjoy watching me out here freezing. I'm not freezing right now, though. I'm, I'm hanging out right now. Definitely hanging out right now. This is a good time. Got some reading in. 
I had a couple leads come through for work. Good day. I said good day. Now I'm just waiting for my steep timer. And once I can press my coffee, I'm gonna pass out. Oh. Steep timer's done. Right on. Now we press. Coffee's made for in the morning. So now I can wake up pissed off and cold and just grab a coffee. That will be pleasing. And, uh, and with that, 